Hey guys, what's going on? It's in the gym with Team Massive Joes. Gonna be showing you how not to do and then how to correctly do one of my favorite exercises, the standing calf raise. First way to stuff this up, man, to do them partial reps, those IFBB Pro reps, those ego reps when people, you see this all the time in the gym, people load up the calf raise with stupid amounts of weight and then go and do these partial reps like this. I am hereby granting you a license when you see people in the gym doing this, go up to them, pimp slap them across the face with the back of your left hand, say leave your ego at the door, courtesy of Team Massive Jones. Second way to stuff it up is what we're gonna call, what are we gonna call these? I think we're gonna call these partial, no, we're gonna call them two part calf, no, we're gonna call them, let's go with calf squats. Once again, too much weight on there and just doing like, just weird looking movements in two parts, using quads, using hips, using glutes, just trying to lift too much weight. It's lifting too much weight. That is what's gonna stuff up your calf development, right? That's the second way to stuff it up. Guys, when you're training calves, check your ego at the door and worry about stimulating calf muscle growth. So let's flip the switch. The first thing that you wanna focus on when you're trying to build some calves with a standing calf raise to set your feet correctly. Real easy way to set your feet, about shoulder width apart, right in the middle of that platform right there. Do not take your feet out to the outside of the platform. I see people do this all the time, Jim. Don't know what it's gonna do apart from put a lot of stress on your hips and knees. Similarly, don't bring your feet too close together. Once again, I don't understand why you would wanna do that. Shoulder width apart, now here's the hot tip. A lot of people genetically have a big inner calf muscle, a small outer calf muscle. You wanna hit that outer calf muscle, just twist your feet a little bit like this so that your toes point in just a little bit. Gonna help you hit that outer calf muscle. So your feet are set from there, load that thing up with just enough weight. Come all the way down to the bottom with every single rep. Please, I cannot emphasize this enough. All the way down, full range of motion, get a stretch at the bottom of each rep. Real good, important thing to notice, pause at the bottom of each rep, allow that Achilles tendon to relax, and then explode all the way through, right up to the top of each rep. Get a squeeze at the top of each rep. Last thing to note, do not neglect the eccentric phase, the negative phase. Come up, squeeze, and then control those calves all the way down. Gonna make stupid gains in your calf muscle doing calf raises this way. Guys, hit the subscribe button. It's in the top left-hand corner. You know we're giving you the right advices when it comes to in the gym with Team Massive Joes. That is how to correctly do calf raises. We're coming to you from MassiveJoes.com.